Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is Saturday, July 22nd, so you know what time it is. It's Wax Gaming Weekly Recap Time, where we try and go through all the latest updates from this past week, plus any upcoming events that are coming up here in the near future. And there's a lot going on over the last this, this past week and this upcoming week. So we want to go ahead and make sure that we cover all the, the high-level details, uh, really to keep you in the loop so you don't have to go through all the discords if you're not interested. You can watch this video 15 minutes or less and then just go to the, the information that you're actually interested in uh, and check out those discords. So let's go ahead and kick it off with a bang. And this is something that I'm super excited about. Wax announced this week that they're doing a bridge with Polygon, my two favorite blockchains, Wax and Block or Wax and Polygon, are going to be bridging together, which I think is fantastic. It opens up a lot of possibilities, and I've already heard from a number of projects how they're going to multi-chain and move extend into Polygon, which I think is a brilliant idea because I think Polygon is another great gaming blockchain. I mentioned this several months ago, and obviously this is not tied to what I mentioned, so I'm not trying to take any credit for it, but I think it is incredibly important with this bear market that projects and games multi-chain, and the fact that also the blockchains are starting to work together a lot more makes sense. Block or multiple communities coming together makes a stronger overall web 3.0 community i love this thought i love this uh a step as far as wax and polygon go uh, can't talk enough about this i may even do a whole separate video on this because i'm i'm that excited speaking of communities and community events this in less than a week from now the the nft op opia opia <laughs> Uh, is coming out here from the, the 28th to the 30th. As you all have heard every time I try attempt to say that, I always say it wrong, so I apologize. And just uh, for some reason, I have trouble saying it. Uh, but that is coming out here next Friday, the 28th, all the way through Sunday, uh, the 30th. If you're not familiar with what this is, it's a free virtual event where you can go ahead and check out Boost from a whole ton bunch of projects, most of them on Wax. Sometimes there are other blockchains that do come to this. Um, very excited to go ahead uh, for this one. It is the third edition of this. Um, I will actually have two booths there. I'm going to have one for Warrior Lion Media, or one, sorry, Warrior Lion Gaming, and then I'm going to have another one for Madeline Media. Combine the names together. Uh, they will be right next to each other. One is focused on players and really kind of passing on the information to the players. As you know, this channel, Warrior Lion Gaming, and the other one is more focused on project and project teams to really help them do player focused marketing, uh, which I think will also help out the, the community and the players considerably. So two cool booths. Please try and come visit. I'm going to try and be there in, in the in the conference as much as I can. So I'll definitely say hi to whoever I can. Um, so definitely check this out again. Free to sign up, free to go to. Next on the list, we have an exciting announcement. If you've ever heard of the NFT World Cup, um, essentially what it is, it is a, a competition trying to put all the bunch of games together to see who's the best game. Uh, about a year ago, Zoller uh, kind of organized a Wax World Cup uh, and put a, and a couple games together to try and do a similar format. Um, they announced this week that they're going to be including Wax into this, which I think is great. Already know a few games that have been contacted that are signing up, uh, I should say games projects, um, that are going to be involved in this next one that's upcoming. Uh, so super exciting that Wax is starting to get more and more of a, a positive um, uh, message or a positive reputation out there on the overall NFT gaming community. Uh, I think this is another big step to help Wax really get its name out there and and really help the community overall within wax so excited about this keep an eye on it uh introverse is the 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 company that's running this one uh, i'm gonna keep an eye on it definitely gonna check it out some more all right now let's get into some of the gaming news starting with fgl yesterday they did their second payday this is for the the metaverse land that's out there um actually a little less than i expect especially since it was tied to the outlaw troopers which is their their marquee game that's out there. Um, so you can go ahead and see there what each of the different rarities of the land got, but they're making it consistent. It almost seems like every couple of weeks they're gonna be doing these paydays, uh, which is in the long term gonna pay out very nicely for those of you that were able to get them, especially those of you that were lucky enough to get the legendary ones. Um, so that is the payday that happened yesterday. In addition to that, we are in the last week of the Cosmic Clash season. 
big push to the end. So if you're anywhere near the prize pool, I am right outside there. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to grab right at the edge of the prize pool. Uh, but if you're anywhere in there, this is where, where you really want to push to try and uh, get a higher ranking and, and get better rewards. Uh, in addition to that, um, a big accomplishment in Mecha World, uh, the first level 40 Mecha uh, has has been reached. Um, so they made that announcement today. In addition, is uh, along the lines with um, with FGL uh, for Outlaw Troopers. As we know, we are in a little bit of a break between seasons, uh, but they did issue where you can go ahead and claim your rewards. Uh, so if you're doing any rewards from the leaderboards, uh, go ahead and log into the game. It'll allow you to select the ones. Some of you that that got the the robots uh, have already received them in your wallets. Uh, but make sure you claim your NFTs if you are eligible to go ahead and win any of those from the, the leaderboard. Uh, next on the list, we have Parsec. And this one I'm excited about. Uh, this one, technically, the or the alpha launches on September 1st. But they're starting to do a lot of the activities to ramp up to it. They did a P PFP, a very, very, very limited PFP drop, more of an auction uh, this past week and they have more coming up so if you missed out on it and you weren't able to get it there will be more coming up these are the three that were dropped basically one of each type and one of each uh basically one of each uh i guess organization the rebellions the empire and republic uh and they have some benefits so they do have utility within game which is great to see um, I was tempted to grab this one because this one looks awesome. This one right here in the middle. Uh, it's just not the, the faction that, <laughs> that I'm interested. I just really love the look of this, but I did not grab it. Um, for those of you that did win them, congratulations. Next on the list, we have Anook Studios. They made a couple announcements this week. They also have a game coming out here in the very near future, Blockchain Chronicles. We talked about it briefly every now and then over the last few months. It is set to go ahead and come into beta at the end of the summer. Uh, so they do have that coming out here in the near future. I'm excited to test it out. And they're already working, or they just kicked off the working of the, the Eskimo uh, Run a Gnome, which is a survival game, which is uh, interested to see how that all pans out as far as a survival game on Wax. I know we have ZOS, which is a survival game, but I'm curious, uh, since they're going to be using, uh, it seems like this is going to be more of a 3D version of a survival game. So very interested to see that. They have some models that are coming out here uh, that you can go to their Discord and check out. Next on the list for Avalon, we are getting very close to the end of the July season for Avalon. I've heard rumors that they're going to take some time off in August, so the game will be down. They've been working so hard over the last, I guess, eight months. Um, I, I, let me rephrase that because Alpha has been out for roughly about eight months. I know they were working for a year and a half hard before that, so so please excuse my miss, miss saying there. Uh, but they are going to take a short break, I believe, here in August before there is that giant push for beta. Uh, they are going through and customizing houses. So if you, you if you went ahead and got a house in game, you have the ability to work with some of the developers for I think it's like a, an hour uh, where you can customize your house to look any way that you want. This is the latest one. This is for More Cheese, who's a player within the game. You, you may you may be aware of her. Uh, she had the the front of hers uh, designed to kind of uh, express her her personality with the wine and the cheese. Uh, so it's it's neat to see that they're customizing the houses, which is super cool. Uh, so more to come on that one. Next on the list, we have Wombat for the Womp Play. Uh, we did a quick review on the Womp Play desk app maybe about a month ago, maybe two months ago. Uh, they had an update come out here with some more of the features available. Wanted to make you aware of that. Uh, next on the list, we have Nova Pangea. Briefly mentioned this also, they have the creature update that's coming up here in the very near future. They provided some more details in the Discord. I am going to do a full video on this once we have the the actual dates and, and the pack drop information all of it available we have some hints here but we don't have everything available once we have that available i'm going to do a full video kind of give you an update on what the creatures are what their impact is going to be to the game and, and a lot around that one um as far as taco and Acryptia go they are doing a they did a a uh, collaboration custom deck drop so if you like those it's neat because it, it adds a different basically basically a different face or, or front to the game uh, they they teamed up with Crypto Kum Kumas um, and made a, a completely custom deck around that. So if you're a fan of both of those projects, you definitely wanted to go ahead and grab this. I don't know if any more is available. I did not check at the time of this recording. Uh, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested in it. 
Uh, Warsaken has some big updates they announced uh, this week, actually probably right at the end of last week. I missed it with the recording time, uh, but they had a big update going on there. So if you're interested in Warsaken and you haven't seen these updates, highly encourage you to go take a look at that. Similar with Forged Arena, also announced a number of updates that are going to be uh, basically rolling out here. And I, they technically, I think, rolled out uh, a couple of days ago. Um, so if you're, you haven't played that in a little bit and you're interested in the updates there, check out their, their discord also they have a big announcement with all those details uh and then we have zombie coin also announced that they have a collaboration that they're going ahead and doing i also believe they have a big update coming out here in august so i'm expecting a lot more updates from them as far as uh what's going to be happening in that update I, I don't have any of the details for you now uh but that will come out shortly so if you're at all interested in zombie coin or play in the past interested in come back keep an eye out there is a major update happening there uh colonize mars um they actually I, they I, this goes along with some of the bridging and some of the other stuff that we have going on um they are as we know they are connected to binance now so now they are available on open sea as far as some of the nfts go uh so if you're interested in all that combination of projects or blockchains check it out um and then we got two that i haven't talked about one that one i haven't talked about in a very long time and that is the nft draft um they are under new ownership as of the say the i think it was roughly about the beginning of this year new developers they did a huge facelift on the game itself and they're starting to drop some of the details around that just in time for uh training camp for nfl football to kick off um, so there's going to be a big push for this here in the near future if you're at all a fantasy football fan highly encourage you check out this project um especially with the facelift that they're having going on here um i may do a, a review on the the new look of nft draft um but wanted to make sure that we announced this here and in addition to that we have nft battle miners i also have not talked about this in a long time i want to do a, a gameplay review we've been actually talking about in the discord around this one they are coming to the close of their shadow depth beta which uh in turn will end up being uh moving on to launch here in the near future um lots of great feedback on this i have not had the chance to go ahead and play yet uh, but i do want to jump in there and do a full review on it uh, but wanted to make sure that i announce this out there so lots of cool stuff happening. Make sure you go ahead and sign up for this event next week. Lots of great games are going to be there. Uh, so including we're going to go ahead and have uh, our own booths or two booths. Um, so checking that out. I also personally have a lot of announcements coming up here probably next week on this um, where we're going to go ahead and announce a, a cool collaboration that we're doing. Uh, you saw may have seen the video yesterday. Uh, I know our, our videos have kind of reduced over the last couple of weeks and we'll continue to stay the reduced format of maybe the next week or so. Uh, but we will pick back up. Uh, we are not going anywhere as far as Warrior Lion Gaming goes. We're just working on a lot of items on the back end, taking some time for the family. Uh, but we will get back to the daily videos here in the very near future, probably mid-August. Uh, but you'll start seeing over the next few weeks uh, the videos ramping up. Um, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.